welcome back. Today I am sharing with you items that I purchased and really, really loved. And I have a few. I have to say I regret buying them. So I'll be sharing those with you as well. I have a little bit of everything. We're going to start with the food items. The first food item is from Trader Joe and I shared it in my last empties video. And it's the Belgium butter waffle cookies. You've probably seen this. And of course, I'll link that video um, below and in the cards. These were so good. I tried this for the first time a few weeks ago, actually. It may be like a little over a month, not that long ago. And I love these things. So this is the first item that I absolutely love. The next item is also from Trader Joe's. They are so good. And it's the Trader Joe's chocolatey coated chocolate chip cookie dunkers. And as you can see, it's empty, but I will leave a picture of what they look like <laughs> on the side. These things are so good. They are so good. So they're, it's a cookie and it has a coating of like chocolate on the bottom. So it's a chocolate chip cookie. And then it has a coating of chocolate on the bottom. When I tell you it is so good. <sighs> I have to try to not purchase these very often, but these are really good. So this is something I definitely will um, purchase in the future. The next item, I bought this on a whim, and it's also from Trader Joe's, and it is the sliced honey roasted almonds. So I have used them just like on yogurt, like if I'm making a parfait, I just sprinkle just a few on top so good i have also actually sprinkled a little bit on like my salad usually i'm not a big like nuts in salad type of girl but i added these to my salad just a few and i like them because the coating the um the honey roasted coating isn't very thick it's just a nice thin layer so you still get the you know your almonds and then just that tin sweet layer these are really good i would definitely keep them on hand the next two items i got these these are total coupon fine as i mentioned i coupon at cvs so i had two coupons i think i had like a one or one dollar off five and then i think like a 250 off one for these and they were on sale so i was like let me give them a try and it is this brand is Lint and they are chocolate. So it's the Lint. The first one that I have is milk chocolate with gently roasted hazelnut. So this is the first one. Also got the milk chocolate and it has pieces of crunchy caramel and sea salt. This is what it looks like. These things are so good. <laughs> so at my CVS, they're like $3.89 but they're usually on sale for like buy one get one 50% off and then I had those coupons so I think I paid maybe like less than a dollar and 50 cents for each one but these are really good <laughs> these are really really good especially these two flavors um the caramel and sea salt the caramel pieces as it said it's like crunchy so you get that little bit of crunch these are definitely definitely um great find the next food item I purchased is the i guess kami is the brand and it's their thai ribbon stir fry noodles and i filmed it was part of one of my grocery hauls a few months back i actually found these at my dollar tree they were a dollar and i purchased four of them i think i got two of this um the thai ribbon stir fry noodles and i think the other one was I don't remember what type it was, but I got another um, another one. They are so good. So they're fully cooked, but they're not mushy. You know, they are like, like overcooked noodles. So I, these are perfect. We just do like a quick stir fry and you add them in. This is actually the last pack that I have. I've been saving this thing. So I have to go ahead and use it. But this was also a really good find because when I checked in like my local supermarket, I think one of these was like, like $3. It was over three dollars so to find it at dollar tree at the time for a dollar was an excellent buy and i didn't even realize when i purchased it it actually comes with if you look here it actually comes with two packets so i thought it was one packet but it came it comes with two packets so you can have depending of, of course 
on your the individuals the number of individuals that you're feeding you can easily use this for one person or two this final food item i've seen it on <laughs> so many videos and i've been hooked since and it's the sun kiss um singles to go packs the zero sugar ones you have seen this <laughs> so many times so i have the pineapple i mentioned that the pineapple is like my second favorite the orange is the orange is i love the orange <laughs> the orange is my favorite flavor so the orange and i also mentioned um that i've been into sparkling water a lot this is the bj's brand there's sparkling water and the flavor that i have is just the orange mango so this was also one of my favorite favorite finds mentioned in my last empties video that i would usually combine these so i would usually do my sparkling water i'll add one of these and it gives you that like soda feel so you get a little bit of sweetness from these sun kiss singles and you get little um fizz from this sparkling water that combination is so good the next item is one of my most recent purchases and it is my soda stream and yep, I'm already in love. It has actually replaced that BJ's brand of sparkling water. So this is it. So it's the Soda Strip Terror. And this is the one that I got. So I don't have to buy, you know, these bottles of water. Every time I go, it comes with um, reusable plastic bottles and a CO2 cylinder that I just use. And I have spark sparkling water anytime. <laughs> I don't have to worry about running out of my bottle of sparkling water because I have this on hand. So I this has to be my favorite purchase of 2021. Those are all of my food items. We're going to move into hair products. I am only including um, hair products that you can actually find now. I mentioned in a few of my videos that I was trying to use up my stash uh, more of my uh, hair product stash. So a few of the items that I loved they are either not being made anymore um, The companies are not very active on social media or their website So I didn't want to include something that you may not be able to get so the first item that I have is actually a, a Hair tool and it is my Connor turbo dryer So this is it I purchased this from CVS. I think it was on sale for like $10. It was on sale for $9.99. And I think I got that maybe like $5. So I grabbed it because I started doing wash and goes. And this came in really handy. So I have my Kone, um, that's the dryer. And it comes with a concentration um, nozzle. So the concentration piece. So it just came with like this piece. But I actually purchased this additional piece from my local beauty supply store for $10. So this is also by Conair. So this is the Conair Pro. And it's um, the Pro Styler. It's a professional finger diffuser. I got the diffuser head. Go with my hair dryer. And I love this, as I said, especially for my wash and goes. You know, instead of going to bed with my hair like soaking wet, this helped to dry um, get my hair dry I would say it helped to get my hair maybe about 50% dry before um, going to bed so I love this of course I'll continue using it in the years to come the next hair product that I have is by Pantene and this is their gold series and it's their leave-on detangling milk this is actually another product that I've had in my hair product stash for a while and I have to say I have been missing out this thing leaves your hair so moisturized and soft. So this is what it looks like. I have to say it's a little pricey. So in my local um, CVS, this thing costs, I think like $9, almost $10. It's almost $10. I've been looking for a really good sale to repurchase it, but I would definitely keep this in my stash as just a quick leave on and I have tried it with other products and it has not flaked on me so that's always a good thing. This next item I've heard so many great reviews about it but I just got my hands on it. Um, I got a curl box and it was a non-subscription curl box it was called the battle of the brands so they had a I think about five or six deep conditioners and this was included and I tried it 
now I see what all the hype is about. It is so good. So it's the Miel Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. This thing has such great slip. The moisture is on a totally different level. As I said, I see what the hype is about. So I think I'll definitely keep this in my stash. And Miel always has I'm like those $5 sales. So <laughs> if I need a deep conditioner, I don't need any right now. <laughs> You've seen my stash video. But if I need a deep conditioner, I would definitely um, purchase this one. So those are... Um, the hair products that I wanted to mention and this item is also something that I started using recently and I actually got it in one of my grocery hauls at BJ's it comes in a three pack and I bought it because it was on clearance I, I had multiple coupons and both of them came off so I think I I eventually paid like a dollar less than two dollars for three bottles and it's the Vaseline intensive care soothing hydration and this one it has glycerin and 1% aloe vera. And it says it has vas uh, Vaseline jellies as well. It's this body lotion. This thing smells so good. It has, it has like a really, like just fresh scent. Like fresh in terms of, I guess it's the aloe vera. Yeah, the aloe vera. It just smells so good <laughs> and of course as it said it's non-greasy because i've mentioned it before i am not a fan of greasy lotions when vaseline actually came out with this line where they said that it has like uh vaseline gels little jellies i was a little skeptical because i know <laughs> you know vaseline is the like petroleum jelly it's greasy we don't like it but it is not greasy the final two items that I have, they're in categories <laughs> all by themselves. The first one is actually a cleaning product. And I have, I think I've mentioned it before. I bought it, I'm not sure when I bought it, but I have used it a lot. So I decided to include it because I, if you're looking for like a cleaning product like this, I definitely wanted to let you know about it. So it's by Crud Cutter. And it's their kitchen degreaser and it's an all-purpose cleaner this is what it looks like and this thing is so good so I use it a lot for cleaning my stove so you know you're cooking you have grease you know, and whatever else you're cooking this thing you don't even have to leave this on you can literally spray and wipe and it's gone you I have also used it like on my walls at like the walls um, close to my stove because you know things bubble up <laughs> bubble over <laughs> I've used it there I have also used it on you know sometimes if you have like if your fridge is close to your stove you will get like the buildup on top of the fridge this works fine. You can spray it. I've used it on like my windowsill. I use this everywhere. <laughs> I've used it to clean off like my windowsill. Um, what else have I used it on? Um, oh, I have a like a spoon holder. You know, like if your pot spoon holder on your on your stove. You know that also gets um all the grease and so I just and I mine is stainless steel. So I just spray this on it wipe it off done but i have only been able to find this um degreaser at two stores so if you're in new york i have found it at shoprite and i have found it at um pathmark i have not been able to find it anywhere else i can't find it in target i think i've seen that it is available at home depot i have not found it in home depot um but if you can find this, I would def definitely recommend um, grabbing it. The final product I have is a portable speaker, and this is by Insignia. And I got this speaker, same, totally on a whim. So I had a, I think I had like a $10 off Best Buy reward that I needed to use. So I was just trying to find something that, um, you know, like fit in, that was close to that $10 price. And I think this was on sale, 
I think it was like $12, $11. So I purchased it. I was like, oh, I can use a, spe a portable speaker. I have to say, this is so good. You charge it with its USB cord, but it lasts so long. And I don't have any issues connecting it with different devices. So, you know, sometimes if you have a portable speaker and you have it connected to one device, you have to, if you have to um, connect it to something else, you, it's a lot of trouble. I don't have any issues with this. So I would definitely recommend this. I am not even sure what the, the original price is, but I got it on sale for like $12 at Best Buy. The next item, I did not purchase the entire thing, but I basically put it together. I have a subscription to quite a few magazines. Some of them I have gotten from purchases that I made on Just Fab and Shoe Dazzle. The others I got like, I think like 12 issues for like $2 but you know after a while <laughs> those magazines piled up so what i decided to do because when i get these magazines i usually go through them and look at the recipes <laughs> that's usually like one of the first places that i go and i look at recipes and say oh this so this sounds good to try this looks really good but then i would kind of like forget about it so i went through all of my magazines just so i wouldn't have <laughs> so many and i tore out the the recipe the pages with recipes that i wanted to try and i went to dollar tree and i got sheet protectors and i bought a a binder so i have this this is a one and a half inch binder so i got this at target and just like you would you know keep your recipes so i have the sheet protectors then i also <laughs> went further and i you see all of these highlighters so I then I went through all of the recipes and found some that I wanted to try like first so I labeled them for example let's see so this one I have highlighted so this is from which magazine is this oh this magazine is this recipe is from eating well and it's a sweet heat salmon recipe so yeah, I did that. So now I have basically an entire cookbook that I have created. So that was another really good um, item that I put together. It helps to like keep everything in one place. Because even though I take out the leaves, I had them in a folder, but I would never remember the folder. But now that I know that I have this binder, I have somewhere that I could flip through and actually find all of the recipes then unfortunately i had a few regrets so i wanted to share those with you as well the first one i got at bj's in one of my recent hauls and it's a rapist so this is a rapist de queso so of course corn and cheese griddle cake this is the one that i got i love a rapist and the ones that i have um eaten are the i guess the yellow corn so the sweet corn from like those street fairs so I got this. I know this wasn't the same thing, but I got it hoping that it would taste very similar and it does not. So this one is not a sweet, but it also doesn't really taste like anything. I don't know. I bought, it came in a two pack. So there are like two of these pouches. And I think I paid like $5.49 and there, uh, there were a total of eight. I think I've only eaten two. I just have to find a way to, way to work this so that I could get through it and I definitely won't be repurchasing it but this is definitely my first regret. These are a no-go so they are um, like water enhancers just like the sun kiss that I showed you. So the first one is um, this peach iced tea. So normally I am not a fan of peach flavored items so candy, like teas but i have found for example like when i do snapple you know like snapple peach tea it does not taste the peach flavor isn't very overpowering actually got this by accident there is a half lemonade half iced tea version of these packets and i actually thought that is what i picked up <laughs> but instead i picked up the peach tea but i was like okay it shouldn't be you know too bad 
the peach flavor isn't very overpowering but this is where my regret lies so i didn't realize that i also picked up the light version so as you can see it's the light version so this practically tastes like nothing <laughs> so this is totally my fault but definitely a regret because i picked up the wrong thing this one so this is true lemon and these are crystallized lemon and it said it's for water teas and other recipes so this is a 12 pack and i got this one because usually um when i like purchase stuff like this i don't usually get the lemonade because i find it to be very sour but i figured let me give this a try nope <laughs> it comes in i still have i think i only use one of this one it comes in like these little pouches but i think maybe it says oh one packet is the taste of one wedge yeah it is so sour like putting it in your water it is so sour so i think maybe for teas this would be good if you want just like a lemon tea or if i make um like my own lemonade with actual lemons maybe i put a pack in it just to you know like <laughs> use them up but i would definitely not be repurchasing this because it is it's just in just regular water it is way too sour to um to drink it like that and it doesn't have any uh, like you know a little bit of like sweetness if does it yeah no it's just it's literally just crystallized no to just add it to water i think it's too way too sour so this was definitely a regret i also got these two items so this is for the soda stream that i showed earlier and it's the bubbly drops this is what they look like so i have two these are the two that i have tried so i have the orange and then i have the lemon so this i am a little on the fence it's not a total regret but i am not like absolutely in love with them so i think when i bought these i was thinking more um like the sun kiss orange and pineapple that i showed you i think i was kind of thinking along that line i didn't really expect it to have any sweetness but i would say from what i have tried with this the flavors here are not very like strong so when i add them to the water i don't really get like that lemon flavor or that orange flavor so i am kind of on the fence i am not sure if i will <laughs> repurchase them but for now i'm just like mm, they're okay i'll use them because i have them I have a, f a few more flavors so once i get through all of them i guess i'll decide whether or not i do want to repurchase them so right now this isn't it's not a total regret but it's not something that i absolutely loved then the final food item that i have is, it's um pasta so this is by barilla and it's their chickpea rotini so i got the rotini and this one the only ingredient is chickpea flour this is what it looks like this is it so i have seen these uh, pastas in like my local supermarkets and i wanted to try them then i saw that my bj's they had it was a box of six and i think they, there was a discount so it was like really inexpensive so i decided <laughs> that it was a good idea to purchase the entire six pack before trying it i think i had the there's like a lentil version I had the lentil so i was like let me try the chickpea mm -mm. <laughs> it is it's really cold like the texture is really coarse it's really dense so when i use this i i have to add like sauce for example the last time that i used this one i made almost like a big ziti but i used this pasta and i added shredded chicken with my pasta sauce and cheese with like that it was okay by itself i am not the biggest fan like i'll eat it because i think i have maybe like two boxes left one or two boxes of this one so i'll eat it because you know i don't want to waste my money but i am not sure that i would repurchase this yeah I prefer the lentil version so if i were to purchase um one it would be the lentil version the chickpea one not really the biggest fan <laughs> the final item that i have is actually a pair of shoes this is what they look like let me see so this is them i'll show you so this is it 
and this shoe I actually purchased from Zara. I have gotten two other pairs of shoes from Zara. One, I don't know, maybe I need to stay away from Zara shoes because I have not had the best look. So I have one pair of loafers that I have yet to use. So I tried it on in the store, you know, you did a little walk, it seemed fine. When I came home and tried to wear it, it was so close. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, maybe I should just not buy anything from Zara. But I bought these sneakers, um, as I said, I think I bought them like in the spring when they were having that their sale, you know, they usually have a few sales every year. So I bought them then, I think I paid, I paid $25 and I got my usual size. So this is a size 41. I got it mainly for like this army green color. So I've been wanting um, shoes this color and I thought this was a good combination. So you have like, you know, the army green and then you also have the nude. I liked it. I tried it on in store. I tried it on at home. It was fine. But I think maybe I should have sized up because when I wore it outside, it was okay. But like, you know those shoes where you're walking it's okay but then when you sit down is when you actually feel so i think it feels a little like close up to the top so i feel like somebody's kind of like squeezing <laughs> my feet when i have these on so i don't know it was yeah maybe if i get a shoe stretch maybe that would help me but yeah i really wanted to love these shoes i mean i'm going to still i'm going to wear it but I don't know maybe i'll try to stretch it a bit and then or maybe i'll try to wear it a few more times and see how they feel but this is definitely a regret um a regret purchase i think maybe i'm just going to stay away from zara shoes that's probably the safest thing to do but yes that that was my final regret purchase of 2021 so guys that's it for this video that's everything i have for you as always thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and to turn on your post notifications and i'll catch you in the next one